Sooner Scoop HD. To, um, to yeah. To have a walk on his first touchdown. Yeah. Touchdown. What was that like to watch that unfold? It, it was awesome. There was, there was a lot of great points today, but Gavin being able to do that, his first touch, his first action here, uh, just appreciate him and, and everything he's done since he's been here. But uh, wanted to reward him with playing, and, and then he gets in there and he makes a play like that, which was was awesome. It was great to see. Uh, Coach Venables, first love play, six explosive play. Just talk about the mentality from the opening staff. Yeah. Do you, you sense anything nervous about Dylan or no. or anything? No, I mean, he, he missed a couple things. He played his butt off, and we, we did some really good things, but definitely missed some things that we're going to want back. But that's the nature of the position, too. At the end of the day, man, we're going to be aggressive. We started fast, did some good things, and got, got a ton of, of work to do and a ton of things to clean up. But glad with, uh, with Dylan's performance and where we're at. Did you expect at the end of the day, does it surprise you that, was it 23 total passes that you had? Yeah. I mean, does it surprise you, or do you just kind of go, as you told us before the season, that with what's, yeah, we, what's in we're, front of you? Yeah, that's going to be different every, every single week. You know, it's about taking what they give us and playing complimentary football, too. You know, I think you see in the fourth quarter, we don't throw the football the last however many plays, maybe 14 plays, you know, for a reason, just to try to stay on the field and continue to get first downs and keep the D off. It's it's all about the team at the end of the day playing complimentary ball. Marcus made a good round. Yeah. Outside of the top ball a few years ago, this was his you know, biggest day. Yeah. His group. You guys talked him up. Yeah. 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 It's it's just it's good to see because we've uh, we've talked about it a ton, you know, and talked to the media about it a ton, talked to talked to everybody about it a bunch about where he's at, who he is, what he's been for us. Uh, so excited for him to be able to go score two touchdowns in the home opener and and get off to a good start. This is where you face some adversity. The two false starts that put you back inside the four. Yeah. You, you responded with a long touchdown drive, yeah. real quick, bang, bang, bang. And then also the two three and outs you responded. Just yeah. talk about how this offense, when they face up a little bit of adversity for the first time, react. Yeah, we got to play each play independent of itself, and that's that's our job as an offense, as a unit. You know, that's my job, that's Dylan's job, and so just understanding that piece of it is critical as we move forward. It's not always going to be perfect as much as we want it to be, uh, but it's not. So you got to have guys that are ready to respond. Those three and outs I don't like at all. We don't like uh, the sack on first down and the penalty on third and one. Those two things can't happen. Uh, so we'll get that cleaned up. But uh, again, just proud of our guys, the way they played and, and where we're at. Thoughts on the receivers and the specifically Mims. Didn't surprise any of us, I think, that you went to him often. Yeah. Yeah, no, Marv, again, is a guy that's going to – he's going to get the football um, with with a slew of other guys. But he's been the same guy every single day. And uh, so proud of him today making some plays. And uh, missed him on that first play of the game that would have been fun to get him going. Uh, but that's, uh, that's part of it. Obviously, Braden Willis had the two touchdown catches. But uh, Coach mentioned uh, some of the blocks that he had on some of those running plays. Yeah. Uh, how much does he kind of help uh, you guys keep the balance between the run and the pass? Yeah, he, he creates versatility. He's a versatile player. He's a guy that we talked about in the locker room, man. But football gods will take care of you and they'll reward you. And uh, this guy has been the same every single day. He's worked his butt off. He's prepared like a like a real pro. And uh, for him to go out and play the way he played today, no surprise, but excited for him, happy for him that, that he was able to have production in the throw game with the two touchdowns. And then obviously the way he blocked for us on the perimeter and in the core is special. Yeah. It was special, man. It, it was it was awesome being on the field before the game. You think about all the former players. Don't take it for granted, not for a second. Uh, so, me and, and Joe John Finley and John Cooper and Phil Loho, Demarco Murray and Curtis Lofton and Rufus Alexander and Lance Mitchell and the list goes on, man. But for us to be on that field and pregame together, pretty special. You know, I, I don't think there's anybody that gets to share that. Uh, like we do in, in the country. And so, again, appreciative and uh, and humbled by it. So glad we got uh, got the first goal out of the way. Overall, what did today mean for Dylan? Obviously, he came in walk champs, had the layers off. Just, yeah. This whole day in general, his first start here, what did that mean for him? Man, at the end of the day, it was a starting point. It was a starting point for where we're at from a program standpoint, where we're at as a unit, and, and what we're going to do to, to build on this and and see where we're at after after one week. So that that's what it was for all of us, for him. And and again, he's, he's the same guy he is uh, 
today as, as he was three years ago. So just proud of his consistency and, and being who he is. Do you like how far along the offense is considering it's September 3rd? Are you where you want to be for September 3rd? Yes, I mean, yes and no. Frustrated with the penalties, frustrated with the three and outs, frustrated with the first down sack. We got a lot to get better at. I, I think that's evident. But having 10 drives, six touchdowns, one field goal, three punts, pretty efficient. But man, so much to, to clean up and, and to get better. So we're looking forward to, as Coach V says, man, stripping it down to the studs and, and getting back to work. How important was it for you to have those third, first three drives when I scored? I think it was under two minutes there. I know Tempo has been sort of yeah. your bread and butter as an offensive coordinator, but yeah. what did it mean to start out that way? No, we wanted to start fast. We talked a ton about it, just applying pressure and getting them out of their game plan. You know, that was uh, that was important for us, and we were able to get that accomplished, which was it was great. Hey Jim, sorry I can't hear everything you're saying, but would you talk about the you know, weeds and kind of, you know, if you've been out for a long time, yeah. it's been a long time since you've been out for a long time, you had those two passes in a row and the second was a really big play, yeah. was that by design, is that just something that Dylan felt comfortable on that program? I mean, it seems like that would be really meaningful for a guy like that. Too. Yeah, the, the second one was by design, the first one had access thrown to him and, and uh, Theo did a great job on both of those, but the second one and made, made the big play, and which was great. Him catching on the sideline, being able to get out of that. But again, Theo's, man, he's been a pro. He's, he's done a great job. He's been the same guy every single day and been a great teammate. And to me, at the end of the day, he'll get rewarded for that. And, uh, I, you know, I feel like he was today. Proud of him. Sooner Scoop HD.